Recently, I've been getting really into Mob Psycho 100. It's always had a place in my heart, but I finally got around to binging the entire thing after a few years and getting caught up with the last season. And as I do whenever I get really invested in something, I think, whoa, I should make a video essay about this. Uh, however, I haven't actually managed to make a video about anything in like eight months, I think. I actually have a lot of unfinished scripts or one sentence ideas written down, but every time I sit down to write something, I have to fight a battle against myself in my own head because it feels like nothing I write is good enough. So hi, this is gonna be a video where I mostly explore and reflect on my own perfectionism. It's not gonna be perfect and that's kind of the point. I feel like I owe it to myself to actually be honest about all of this and take the steps I need in order to actually create again. If you're a returning viewer who's been wondering where I've been for the past eight months, hi, I can explain, um, but if the topic of this video isn't your cup of tea, that's alright as well. Mob Psycho 100 is a show that's very insistent on its themes of how no one is worth more or less than anyone else. Doesn't matter if they have psychic powers, doesn't matter what abilities someone has, it doesn't make them superior to anyone else. Shigeo... Sh Shigeo... 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 <sighs> Shigeo might be the most powerful psychic in the world, but Reagan is always right there with him because he uses what he's personally good at, being charismatic and convincing. No one in this show is worth less, and whenever an antagonist comes along with the idea that they're the main character of the world, it always ends up in a battle of beliefs where Shigeo calls the villain a friendless loser and wins. <laughs> that's basically that's basically the show. Yeah. <laughs> the antagonists are used as examples of what not to become and what's not true. And I guess Shigo made me think a bit about that in my own mind as well. I don't believe I'm better than other people or worth more than others. Uh, I don't understand how people think that way. Honestly, I usually go the other way. My self-confidence has always been pretty bad and whenever I make stuff I know others will see, I pretty much always put myself down shove myself down? I guess, like, I'm not a dog going to the vet to be put down. So I, I, I guess I shove myself down. Where was I? I pretty much always shove myself down, telling myself it's not good enough. I feel like I always have to make something extraordinary, something great, or, you know, something perfect in order for my work to have any value at all. I can't talk about anything that others have already talked about because then what's even the point? They probably did it better, right? I have to write my essays perfectly because if I don't, they won't be good enough for others to see. Everything has to flow really well so it's not a mess and, you know, not good enough for others to see. My essays have to be better than what I can do because nothing I could make would ever be good enough in comparison to literally anyone else. If you can't tell, I'm illustrating the negative thoughts that go through my head when I write. It's a lot of pressure and it makes it impossible to write anything at all because it feels like it will never be good enough. No matter how much others praise my work, I'm my own worst critic and if I can't overcome that part of myself, I'll keep shutting myself down and that leads to not making anything at all. Mob Psycho 100 made me stop and really try to unpack that. Because Shigeo can say with such conviction that different abilities aren't worth more or less, maybe my work isn't worth less than other people's creations after all. Of course, logically, I know that all of these negative thoughts are false and unreasonable, but it's hard to overcome them when they sit deep in my subconscious somewhere. Honestly, the entirety of Mob Psycho 100 as a show is something I relate to a lot, especially Shigeo and his entire journey. I think the themes are something I really needed to hear and see an example of, and this show provided just that. I've been thinking a bit about how Shigeo views his psychic powers as unremarkable. Everyone else around him thinks they're awesome and really cool, but he himself finds them normal. I think I relate to that in a way. I'm an artist and a writer. I've been doing art for what feels like my whole life, and I've always been told I'm 
really good at writing in quotation marks <laughs> it's oh my god that's so ironic i wrote writing wrong um w-r-i-t-n-g that's how you write writing for some reason everyone around me is amazed when i draw something more than a stick figure but to me art is just a thing i can do it doesn't feel remarkable or great so if my art is going to be noteworthy it feels like it needs to be more than my baseline because it feels like anything i can do inherently isn't good enough i always need to make something better if i'm not suffering to go above and beyond it's not enough and even if what i make is perfect in quotation marks it probably wouldn't be good enough for me because it's just another thing i can do but there's a reason we find shigeo's psychic powers awesome right and there's a reason people find the ability to do art amazing as well sometimes i think i just need to step away from myself to see that these things are actually pretty cool even if they seem normal to me like when you can draw you can just kind of draw anything like the avatar you see on screen i made that you know like i imagined that i made it that's pretty cool i think yeah my abilities might not be worth more than anyone else's skills, but they're certainly not worth less either. I think that's what my viewing of Mob Psycho 100 made me come to think about and really understand more than I did before. Writing this little essay was a challenge in itself because all of these feelings and negative thought patterns have been building up for a while now, and I think I finally come to confront some of them. I know my path to enjoying the things I create again won't be linear. It'll still be hard sometimes, but after making this, I honestly do feel a lot more at ease when it comes to making content. I know this won't be perfect, and it probably won't be an outstanding video essay either, but honestly, that's the point, and that's all right. I think. I'd rather accept that my work is flawed and enjoy it regardless, instead of torturing myself reaching for an impossible standard. I mean, just look at Mob Psycho 100. The manga didn't have the perfect art, but that didn't stop one from creating something really cool that resonated with a lot of people. So yeah, uh, that's what I had to say, and hopefully I'll be able to say more things soon. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to talk about. Like, as I mentioned, there I do have a lot of unfinished scripts, and I've had many hyperfixations in the last eight months that I have thought I should make a video essay about this, about. But I'll just, I'll, I'll see if I um, manage to write anything. Probably will, after making this. I mean, that's kind of the point, isn't it?